Alright, Shalom, I'm like say call Lord Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Kakadash, double honor sales, posture, mill, son, tarship, citation, blood to Israel. And this lesson is really going to be on how, you know, we got brothers who use the scriptures and says, we got people who use the scripture and says that uh, when it's talking about neither shall his face not wax pale. That is talking about Jacob, Israel can never look like an Edomite or another nation, right? Which is wrong. How is it wrong? This is Revelations chapter 5, verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seal thereof. For thou was slain and has redeemed us to the most high. Which is, we know that that's Yahweh Shah who redeemed us to Yahweh. By thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. So there you go, that debunks it itself. Because that shows that our people is it, it can be that means our people can be looking like a so-called Edomite, but they're actually Israelites. That's why we, you know you gotta see in the spirit. See, you know it, it, they're actually you know Israelites. Okay, you might be talking to a, a mobile looking person, and and, his, and 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 really you talk to an Israelite, because because you know and there's more of us anyways. Than all nations and kindreds of the earth. So when it's talked about that, his face shall wax pale, pet shall never wax pale. And um, let's see, let's go back. Isaiah 29, 22. Therefore, thus saith the Lord who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. See, it's not talking about the Lord's color. I mean, it's not talking about, you know, Jacob's color, okay? Israel's color, they're not going to be coming in looking like other nations. All right, so that completely debunked that. The, all right, this is Isaiah 29, 22. Therefore, thus saith the Lord who redeemed Abraham. And how did Abraham become redeemed? Okay, first he got the blessing to become, to be called Abraham. Okay, matter of fact, this is Genesis 17 and 5. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, right? Which is the Lord talking to uh, Abraham. But thy name shall be Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made thee, and I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and, and kings shall come out of her, right? Because why is this talking about, about that? Because there was a time our nations grew, our nation grew so vast, so big, that it, it made it look like it was a separate nation. Okay? That's how how, how big our nation was. Okay? And oh, <laughs> another scripture that came to mind. Before I go there, also, we also know that it didn't stop just with Abraham. Right? And we also with Isaac. Right. Verse 21. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto you, unto thee at this set in time and year. Right. Which is now this is how you know that Israel is a chosen also, because now we now we know that Isaac and Isaac bared who? I'm shocking. You know, Isaac's son has only had one chosen son, which is we can read that or what? Genesis 25 and 24. And, and when her days to be, I'm going to start at 23. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy, start at 20. One, and Isaac ent 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 entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two men of people shall be separate, separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Right? Which now we know the younger is what? The chosen gener the chosen nation. And who is the younger? And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there are two there are twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Now we know that I just said here. Now Esau came out first, which is what? The elder, the eldest son. Okay? And it said, Treated you as it was bearing the Lord so entreated, and the children struggled. And the Lord so said unto her, 
Two nations in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger. Okay. Now we know Esau is what? The elder. And after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called what? Jacob. And Isaac was three scores years old when she bare them. So there you go. Okay. That's how you know that, okay, you know, and we know that the Lord, you know, with the with the birthright, with the blessing, okay, so that that's how you know that Jacob is a, is a chosen generation. Esau gave up his birthright for what for what a pottage meat, a red pottage meat. So the Lord blessed Jacob. So the Lord, you know, the Lord allowed Jacob to trick Isaac into blessing uh, Jacob with the what the uh the the birthright. So Jacob is a chosen nation, okay. And now back to the first point I was trying to get Shalakia, you know, from all over. <laughs> so, yeah, it was about, uh, no, and I will step, and I will make the exceeding fruitful. Okay, yes. And then also I was talking about, I'm going to reread it, 17 and 6. I will make the exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. See, that's because, you know, like I said again, we were, uh, our nation was vast. Very vast that it was like it was two separate nations, okay? But it was Israel. See, there's you gotta remember also that there's more Israelites. There's more Israelites on this earth than any other nation, right? So that even so, when you're talking to whoever a so-called uh, I mean, an Edomite or an Edomite, you know, or uh, an Amalite or anyone you're talking to, say you're talking to Esau, right? You know, you think it's an Edomite, but really that could be an Israelite. Right, you know, because you know you got to turn through spirit, but really that could be an Israelite, because you got to remember that we're, we're we're spreading, okay, we're spread we're we're, we're spreading out. There's Hosea one and ten. The number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. There you go. See, <laughs> you can't measure it. So there's more of us than there's all on this entire earth than there's a nation of Edom. Then there's the some Amalites, the you know the 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 the, the Moabites, you know any other of the heathen nations, okay? The Ishmaelites, all all them. There's more Israelites, okay? So that's how you know that the you know wax pale in Isaiah 22 is not talking about the color, you know that that Jacob would never be one color, right? Also, before I go back to that, so one scripture just came in mind. It's Romans 9 and 7, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So, yeah, so that's how you also know it didn't just stop Abraham. It's also with Isaac, okay? And we all know that the chosen, you know, child who got the birthright was Jacob, right? So now going back to Isaiah 22 and 29, okay. <laughs> I get them mixed up sometimes. Isaiah 29, 22. Therefore, thus saith the Lord who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall not now be ashamed. Neither shall his face now wax pale. There you go. So it's not just, it's not just me, no. It's just color, just color. And when you go into the word pale, actually a synonym is for, is what? Oh, also, <laughs> all right. Concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not now be ashamed. Are we ashamed? See, now if you're saying that it just can be one color, you're also saying that we're not ashamed because we know that we're ashamed, right? We went through what? Slavery. So it's not a not a shame. We're on the bottom. We're, we're the butt of this earth. Okay? So what? Shall not be ashamed. Neither shall his face now wax pale. So there you go. So we're ashamed in this land. Okay? So... This is Isaiah 29, 24, I mean, 22. Therefore, thus saith the Lord who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. See, and all be not ashamed. We're the, we're the, but we're the laughing stock of this damn, uh, of this damn fucking kingdom. Okay. Pursuant to what? Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse nine. If I'm not wrong. Or is it nine and six? 
Yeah, right here. Holy people unto the Lord that power. The Lord that power has chosen these to be a special people. I think that's actually what I'm looking for. Yep. This is Deuteronomy chapter chapter seven verse six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord, thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now and we're to, now we now we know that's talking about Israel. Okay, we're holy people and we're chosen. Okay, we're a chosen generation. Okay, that's why, and and that's why, and we already know that the kingdom of heaven is what is gonna come, right? At at the last, it's better is an end to a thing than a beginning. Okay. This is Psalms, and this is for the shame. Right here. This is now this is talking about the shame, right? This is Psalms 25 and 19. Considered my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Oh, keep my soul. And, and, and what is that not being ashamed though? Right? Now this is King David, you know, speaking, but also is not our people hated? Right? Man, I've seen this, man. I, I was on um, Man, I was on this little TikTok stuff, man, watching these uh, videos. I came past a video, and they was on the internet. And then they was, every time Endemite came on, he said, he asked Endemite, said, can you just ask me one random question? And I said, why are you black? Which is, we you know, we're, we're dark-skinned, you know, we're brown. And then, you know, we're brown, you know, we're not black. But, you know, but, you know, you know the point. You know what I'm trying to get at. So, and also, the other one came up and said, why do you pick cotton? See, so, so we are ashamed as a people. Okay. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed. For I put for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity up righteous preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O oh, oh, thy power. Oh Yahweh Shimasha out of all his troubles. So there you go. You know? And how are we not gonna be ashamed as man's when we're on top? Then we're gonna put them, the heathen nations, they're gonna the ones gonna be ashamed. Okay? See, we have to remember. You know, you know that the hey man, the Lord's gonna come, man. You know, yeah, sure we're the laughing stock now. Yeah, sure we're on the bottom. You know, yeah, sure they're laughing us laughing at us now. But a quick precept to that man is one of my favorite precepts. This is Luke six and twenty-five. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. So there you go. So let them laugh now. Let us be the butt of everyone's fucking joke. Okay? But more to you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. You know, soon, you know, Israel's time is going to come. You know, soon Esau's kingdom is going to fall. See? Okay? Which is reading that also. <laughs> There's so many scriptures up in my mind. This is Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. See? There you go. And that's talking about what Esau. Esau's bounds there's a time that he's not gonna be able to pass the lord's gonna come and what give his it's gonna come take the kingdom you know taking it back and giving it to his elect okay the nation of israel even the two-thirds are gonna get saved by what by fire but they're gonna have they're gonna be over esau okay so back at the you know the point of this lesson man isaiah 22 I said, like I said, I get them mixed up sometimes, brothers. <laughs> Isaiah 29, 22. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall not now be ashamed, which we know we are ashamed now. Neither shall his face now wax pale. So there you go. And I want to actually get into this word of pale real quick before I end this. Pale. Yeah, man, if you look up the synonyms of it, which I already know, you know, but this for edification's sake, pale. The synonym of the adjective of pale is feeble. Are we not feeble? 
okay? Weak. Are we not the weak ones uh, here? See, that, that, that word pale is actually an allegory, okay? So, that's what it's talking about. See, it's not talking about the color. Oh, you're, you're just, every is like just brown. No, this is what it's talking about. Our, our you know, our nation, okay? So, we're never going to, you know, what wax pale. So, but right now, we're, 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 we're pale. We're feeble, weak. Okay, and that, and we already know that let's talk about the nation of Israel, because are we not the weak ones? Now, are we not not hey, they used to uh fear Israel. They used to fear us, you know, because what we had Yahweh Shim Al Shah. He was still he was dealing with us. I believe that's in Joshua, the second chapter. Uh this is Joshua. But yeah, you know, we were, you know, on we're on the bottom now. As you can see, well, whose face is on the dollar? Esau. Okay, and there ain't no, you know, sir, you got some jakes that become rich, but what do they got to do for that, right? But the ones who's ruling is the, is the what, the Roughchilds, the, the DuPonts, the Gettys, all them, the Bilbers, all them, that family, they're all ruling, what, they're all Edomites, right? They rule the earth, okay? We're nothing but everyone, what, and some of heard quote, man, someone said, just sh told LeBron, shut up and dribble the basketball, and shut up, shut up, some of shut up and just dribble the basketball, you know, there's <laughs> just uh, want Esau's entertainment. Okay. But yeah, man. See, and, and Israel was, you know, we was once, you know, feared by these nations, right? When we had the Lord. And just to back that up, just Joshua 2 and 10. For we have heard how the Lord dried, dried up the waters of the Red Sea for you when ye came out of Egypt. And what ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites that, that were on the other side, Jordan side, Jordan, Shion, on Og, whom ye utterly destroyed. And as soon as we heard these things, our heart didn't melt, neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For Yahweh, your power, he is thy power in heaven above and in earth beneath. See, we were once on top, you know. Had, you know, Esau was in the caves, you know, you know, they, they, they was nothing but fucking spitter, which they're going to go back to, you know, because, you know, how, how did the weak become strong? <laughs> but, hey, but that's what we're going to be saying. Man, we, we lost to this shit. <laughs> but, hey, it shows the Lord's power. But, yeah, so there's a time when our people was on top. You know, also, you also have what? Who King Solomon's rule. OK, all these kings rule. OK. But so, yeah, that's really, you know, the gist of this lesson. I just wanted to go into that of the Isaiah 29. Got it this time instead of saying 22. <laughs> but of Isaiah 29, 22. Therefore, thus saith the Lord who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall not now be ashamed. Neither shall his face now wax pale. And I hope that was an fine lesson with that. Like I said, Kohala Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Kakadash. Double on ourselves, possibly Millstone, Tarshu, Shaitan, Flat Israel. Shalom.